So we're looking at the differences in brains of eastern bluebirds depending on the gender. We're looking at the differences associated with song behavior. We found that the eastern bluebirds, male or female, have equivalent song, and now we're looking at whether their brains match that equality or match that equivalence. Um, because if they do, that would be incredibly interesting and, and would be incredibly unique. Now, the interesting thing with the eastern bluebird is that there was a study done that actually showed that females sing an equivalent song to the male, right? So, uh, and this is very, very rare. There's only a handful of species, songbird species, that actually the female sings, and then to sing as much as the male, that was a rare finding. So the big question is, given the fact that the female sings as much as the male, do the brain regions that process this song, are they as big and as complex as you would find in the male? Now, every bit of research that's been done so far suggests that it would be smaller, but we don't know the answer to that. So really Colin's project is looking at, so we've got a male and female, we're gonna compare those regions that are part of what we call the song control system, these brain regions that are associated with song production, song learning, are they equivalent in males compared to females? And if they are, then that's huge. This would be the first study that's ever showed that the female has a similar size song control system compared to, to males. Um, and I'm hoping that this research can really be built on and we can really um, get into this, this idea of understanding you know, the importance of, of female song and certainly the, the neural component of, of, of this song system.